Matthew, let's talk about your book. You are you are writing a book about uh, the, the Capitol grounds and uh, kind of a yesterday, today, and tomorrow theme. What what do you mean by yesterday, today, and tomorrow? Well, a lot of people are not aware of the fact that there were nine different locations for the Capitol in the early days, but cities like Philadelphia, New York, Baltimore, Annapolis, Trenton, York, Pennsylvania, uh, Philadelphia, of course, uh, two or three times, uh, actually. But um, it was not until 1800 when the Congress first occupied the Capitol here in Washington, and that we had some land that w there was really uh, uh, acreage or grounds to be developed. And uh, the uh, uh, book is to describe how that took place. There were designs for the grounds before Mr. Olmsted came to Washington in the uh, 1870s, but not as thoroughly thought through. And then um, after the uh, Olmsted era, of course, things have uh, happened uh, when my predecessor was here. Uh, you know, this is the Vietnam era, and there were riots and so forth against the war and uh, the threat of damage to the grounds uh, by large crowds. Um, and of course, we've had 9-11, and we've had uh, uh, a number of uh, life-changing events uh, worldwide. And uh, trying to, uh, I, I want the book to describe how we've made our very best efforts in our office of the architect of the Capitol, which, by the way, is a venerable organization. It was founded in 1793. And um, uh, uh, and then there's a look at today uh, affiliated with the things going on now. And then tomorrow, what do we want the grounds to look like in 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and so on? Uh, transportation issues, circulation, uh, growth of the city, uh, change in public taste changes in the Congress constantly. So um, projecting what, what may occur, although we can never be for sure, but I think one thing is uh, certain. We, we want to uh, never lose the Olmstead legacy affiliated with the Capitol grounds.